Hello friends, let's get surreal. Salvatore Dali is most famous for his contribution to the world of art, particularly for the surrealist movement. Dali was not just famous for his artwork though. He had a particular tendency to play the fool with his antics and bizarre lifestyle sometimes stealing the spotlight from his artistic works. Let's take a look into what made Dali the man that he was. Friends, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoy our videos. Salvador Dali believed he was the reincarnation of his dead older brother. Dali's older brother was born almost three years before him and was also named Salvador Dali. Just nine months before Dali was born, Dali's older brother died of a stomach problem. Dali's parents took his birth so soon after the death of their first child to be a sign and believed that Dali was his reincarnation. Salvador Dali had a difficult childhood which ultimately shaped his life. Salvatore Dali e Cucci, Dali's father, was an incredibly strict man. His mother Felipa had other thoughts though and treated Dali in almost the exact opposite way, encouraging his artistic nature. Through severe punishments from his father and abounding affection from his mother, it's no wonder he ended up a bit of an oddball. Salvatore Dali's immense talent was noticed at an early age. By the time he had reached the age of 12, his parents had already become well aware of his rising talent as an artist. They sent him to drawing school. Instead of focusing on his studies though, he played the fool and embraced his eccentricity. Originally, Dali was more known for his eccentricity than his art. In 1922, Dali moved from Figueres to Madrid to study painting. This was the first time that he felt truly unrestricted in the way he expressed himself. He was commonly referred to as a dandy, as he had long hair and wore clothes similar to those worn by the dandies of 19th century in Britain. Salvatore Dali was expelled from the same art school not once but twice. In 1923, he was accused of leading a student protest and was expelled. He was allowed to return to the school and repeat an academic year, yet he ended up being expelled again in 1926. It was just before his final examination. He declared to his examiners that he was more intelligent than them, thus they could not possibly examine him. Dali's father came close to disowning him. Dali and his father never really saw eye to eye, so when he started courting Gala, while she was still married to Paul Elward, his father didn't hide his strong disapproval. The most well-known work by Dali is titled The Persistence of Memory. This painting has gone down in history as one of the most prominent pieces of surrealistic artwork to ever be created. This is a perfect example of Dali's methods and thought processes at the time. Although some would say that he rose to fame through surrealism, in the 1930s he was eventually removed from the movement due to his apologetic nature towards Hitler and his ambivalent attitudes towards fascism. Salvador Dali married his friend's wife. Dali was 25 when he met his future wife Elena Ivanovna Diakonov. Elena, known as Gala, was 10 years older than Dali at the time and was married to his good friend Paul Eluard. Paul and Gala were divorced some years later. Dali and Gala eventually got married almost 5 years later in Paris in 1934. Salvador Dali had a pet ocelot that he took everywhere. In yet another bizarre display of his eccentricity, Dali would take his pet ocelot almost everywhere he went. Babu, Dali's ocelot, would trail along with him on a leash to restaurants. Salvador Dali was absolutely obsessed with money. He would go to almost any extent to acquire money, to the point that his colleagues would refer to him as Avida Dollars. This is an anagram to his name which translates into eager for dollars. He would take almost any job, among them was designing the logo of the popular lollipop company Chupa Chups. Salvador Dali would pay for meals with drawings. Dali figured out a pretty clever trick to get out of paying for restaurant bills that he would end up using quite frequently. He would write out a check to the restaurant and then draw on it, with the idea that no one would catch the check due to the value of the artwork on it. Impressive. Salvador Dali worked on a Disney film. Walt Disney hired Dali to work on a film called Destino in 1946 in which Dali's artwork was combined to Disney's character animation. They initially had no idea how long it would take to produce the film and after 8 months of working non-stop they had to put a stop to the project due to financial issues. The film was finally completed in 2003 by Walt Disney's nephew Roy E. Disney. Salvatore Dali bought a castle for his wife. When Dali bought a castle for his wife Gala in 1968, she accepted it with one peculiar condition. 
If Dali ever wanted to visit her at the castle, he would have to gain written permission from her beforehand. She ended up spending many weeks there, which has led some people to speculate whether she simply just needed a break from the craziness of it all. Salvador Dali built a museum for himself and then died in it. The mayor of Dali's hometown asked him to donate a piece of his art to the town's museum, but ended up with much more than he asked for. Dali ended up rebuilding the municipal theater, where he held his first exhibition, into a museum dedicated to himself and his works. Dali lived in the museum in the last few years of his life and died there in 1989. Whether you're a fan of Dali's artwork or not, it's easy to agree that he had a big impact on the world today. He was an enigma, he was thought provoking and he made his own way throughout the world without a care of what people thought. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the notification bell, we have new videos coming every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday evening.